uh, is we're gonna make a a guard from tubes load locks that is load locks are used in uh, semi trucks and trailers to hold your cargo in place it's uh, galvanized steel so uh, you know the rusting process will take longer so we're thinking two pipes coming out angled out this way make like a triangle then another one straight out right here so four basically four pipes and then uh so four mounting points or maybe three we'll see if these will come together or not four or three mounting points coming out right about here and then uh a bend it bend up pipe right here and maybe something on the upper part of it another maybe uh, like a u-shaped pipe and then we'll, we might mount a light or two on that upper pipe so yeah so we may actually continue to go out all the way this way maybe we'll see so the idea is to cap let's say there's a cap right on top right there's going to be a hole in it for a bolt this which guy. one this guy we'll go okay here. here show me this one so this is the cap so there's going to be a hole inside the cap here okay and it's gonna go here that bolt's gonna go inside to hold basically it's gonna look like this and then uh to the bottom part there's gonna be the pipe's gonna get welded no it's gonna get welded here yeah oh yeah i'm sorry yeah right here my bad it's gonna get welded right here and it's gonna shoot out to the front so it's gonna be removable yeah that's what i'm looking yeah. for you know what i would just do i would just flatten a pipe like this drill a hole through it, mount it here, somewhere here, and be done with it. <laughs> but uh, Luke likes to complicate, uh, complicate things, yeah. Hey guys, today I am in charge of updates. So, me and Robert doing something with the load bars as we promised. We got a bars cut up, notched. He's working on second one. Mm -hmm. You like it? How's the fitment? It's uh it's it's tight. pretty pretty tight. Tight. Pretty tight. Make it a virgin tight. Virgin tight? Okay. So he's gonna work on that. And I will show you under the car. We already have two of those uh, loosely fit. So this is how our Crush bar, bash bar, what, what, what is it called? B bash bar, yeah. Bash cool. bar, I think it's called bash <laughs> bar. Like that. And then we're gonna have a... a and we're gonna leave it like that. Yeah. And we're gonna load the potatoes in here. And shoot the other, other, other competitors. Yeah, yeah okay. so the plan is to have another one here, obviously. Another, another two sticking out here. Hold yeah, on. we are concerned about the wheel. Uh, I told Robert that I don't want that to stick out too close to the wheel because if we hit something hard, I, I see that's I see where it's going. You know, I see where where, where where it is that all that thing is going to because we shouldn't be doing that. That was the, the 
in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning he said no we're not gonna do a crash bar now in your vision you're driving right now now <laughs> right now 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 after you know after the taste of uh, ice racing and hitting those uh snow banks uh, i think he's prepping for something more <laughs> We had to. We ran out. Something. A settlement. A settlement. We ran out of gas. No, we did not. Yeah, we did. It's gassy all the time. Okay, I think it's pre-assembled already. Pull it out. All right. Pull it out, man. Pull it out. Make sure you read instructions. I was joking. Hold on. Here, it. No, I think you need room for uh, the bend. 128? Hold on. 128. Someone with... already used it. Uh oh. Pre used. We gotta take pictures. Yeah, we gotta return them. This is not good. This is pre used. I guess we're gonna pre-use it again and return it again. All right, inch and a quarter it is. So what you do, you pop it in here. You move it here, so. Move it back here. here. There you go. Wow. And now we insert a pipe. You're gonna just bend it like that? Just, just test, test bend? Yeah. Test bend? Okay. You unbend this one. Yeah. <laughs> no. Lower the. Press on it. On the jack. What is it? Press on the jack. I think it's up. Oh, yeah. You're right. Use only an ANSI schedule for your 80 steel pipe. Uh, malleable. Okay. Like we do care. Oh, yeah. Come on. Good idea, but anyway. This is gonna crash. Easy! Oh, I'm fixing it. The, the thing you, you, you messed up. Oh no, it's already kinking it. See it or no? Wait, it's kinking already? Yeah. Was it kinked already or? No. It just happened. Oh, you see what happened? Okay, this thing did it to, to it? Yep. Okay. So that's the problem with those vendors. The king, the, the pipe. Awesome. Do you have extra pipes? You know what? Give me that rusty. So we're, we're gonna test a uh, rusty pipe with an inch and a half. The other tired old pipe that kinked was on a, uh, well, first of all, we already were bending it and it was an inch and a quarter. Die. Now it's inch and a half. No, it's kinking it already. Even more, huh? Yeah, it's... Yep. No, it did this. Whoa. Yep, we can't do that. Okay, inch, inch and a quarter then? Well, this is rusty. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it kinked it. I think this one was better. Yeah, so this is an inch and a quarter. Yeah. I'm gonna do more testing and maybe warm up the pipe we're working on. You know, warm it up a little bit. about 30 minutes of bending this is what we came up with it's not pretty this uh, Harbor Freight pipe bender sucks sucks balls but it is cheap after all you can see marks where it was bent and kinks the pipe too so you can't go too far you can see we got marks like this every few inches or so from these guys. So now the plan is to weld in the remaining pieces. See, this one is ready. Actually, this one is finished. I'm gonna do this one. It's gonna go from here to the front. There's gonna be another one here, going almost kind of straight. And then another one here, going out the side. Got an update, guys. Yeah, most likely. All the way there. You know, we're not really uh, building a, a guard for autocrossing. We're gonna go out to the desert and uh, and play Mad Max. This is where we're at. Hey, give me a, a pen. A pen. How about a pencil? Hey, guys. We're back. It's been. I have no idea what you just saw because what well it's been a while so we started doing this guard grill thing to per man are you almost done no so as i was saying we started doing this guard to protect the bumper before event number two for us second for us and uh, well we didn't finish didn't have enough time I'm gonna explain why he's doing that in a second so anyways we didn't finish making that uh, bumper protection thing and which is it's too bad because look now look yeah now look Luke decided to destroy the bumper. So here's the piece that came off. You can see it broke, broke right off. And this is what we managed to finish the episode before the last one. I mean, we're prob probably not even halfway. So the plan was to, you know, I'm sure you've, you've seen all that. Anyways, this was the result this guy here but as you can see it's not ideal there's uh kinks and marks and stuff it's just it's ugly and this is what we've been using so now we have a, another uh, thicker pipe straight from home depot still hot i'm gonna fill it with sand how much did you pay for this bag three dollars Three dollars for this premium play sand. So the idea behind this is to fill it up so it becomes somewhat, you know, solid inside, and then do the bending. You know what? I know why Luke decided to break the bumper, so it's easier to um, do the outline. So you can actually, without removing the whole bumper, I guess he was thinking ahead. You know, we just did this. Yeah, smart, smart. I gotta, I gotta give it to you, man. Sometimes, you know. Forgot I'm holding a. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So the idea behind this. So we don't need to, you know, when we're done bending, more or less, bring it up to the car and then back and then to the car and back and to the car and back and to the car and back. We have the bumper right here. You done? 
No? Okay. It's about to start. All right. So we're going to set this up here. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll be, we'll manage. So after about 40 minutes of bending, More than that. maybe an hour, let's say 50 minutes, this is what we got, came out uh, kind of nice, I must say, but now we, had to, we need to trim this guy here a little bit. Guys, a little update, this is what we're at right now. I gotta say, I like where this is going. Guys, update. So just tack welded for now. As you can see, Only this and this is welded, finished. No, not place. even, not even this. Just. Oh, but that one is finished. This one too? No, this one. Yeah, just this, just only this pipe is finished. Uh, the rest are just tech welded, and there's going to be one more from here to here. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So two, obviously one on each side. So one here, all the way up to here. And we're probably going to do some kind of a, I don't know, probably from that same plastic, rubber, rubberized. Um, don't ask me, there's a mud flap. Mud flap, yeah, the mud flap. I'm going to install it right over here. So when we hit the snow and it's kind of angled down, it's going to throw the snow underneath the car. And it might actually go all the way down. I'm gonna mount it somewhere underneath. So it's gonna be like a kind of a, like a skid plate. All right, getting somewhere. Update. So this is it. So weld this pipe in for a better rigidity. Dididity. Man, this guy never, always, always making noise when I'm trying to talk. So as I was saying, so now we're going to clean this up, finish welding it, every single one, and that's it. We're not going to be doing any more bracing from here or whatever like we were going to. We will eventually cut these off somewhere and then cap them off. I'm guessing as of now it's probably 15 pounds, maybe 20 somewhere in between that I'm gonna grind these off after the uh, welding is done so it's nice and smooth 
right all these and then so this is upside down right now then we're gonna uh, from some material maybe aluminum install plates kind of on the inside so they don't stick out or down uh, they're gonna be on the inside we're gonna weld in nuts here you know all along there there's gonna be a plate here there's gonna be another plate here and then another one here in a big one oh yeah we're gonna weld another pipe from here to here and we're gonna have a big plate all the way back to this area here because we got these actually take the plastic cover right here the 212 mils so there's gonna be a plate all the way up to there so the material is gonna probably be aluminite most likely so the back plate is going to be removable well they're all going to be removable but we're only going to have to you know during all the changes and whatever only going to have to remove the, the back plate well, this is going to be only for ice racing purposes so yeah that's only going to be for ice racing what's going on over here yeah i'm gonna make noise 